My name is Sandy Williams IV. I'm an artist and educator currently based in Richmond, Virginia. The 40 Acres Archive is a project that I've been working on for several years now. This project is interested in the Reconstruction era of the United States and how some of the pivotal decisions made in that era after the U.S. Civil War still exist in our social, physical, and political landscapes today. In particular, I'm interested in the history of freedmen communities, which are places where newly emancipated people congregated and began to build communities at the end of the Civil War. It is important to understand that the success of these communities would have been absolutely vital to building equality into the fabric of this country and in order to move out of slavery into a healthy, integrated society. So understanding the federal failures of Reconstruction, the instrumentalized destruction of these communities, and the unfulfilled promise of reparations is essential when trying to understand today's inequalities or plot a way forward. The 40 Acres Archive is looking at a history of systematic racism, segregation, housing inequality, and exploitation and responding with artworks that will be presented visually as texts, as poems, as archives, as conceptual performances, as objects, and as public installations. Chimborazo Park is popularly remembered as the site of the largest Confederate hospital during the Civil War. But after the Civil War, it functioned as a freedman community for one year. Newly freed people lived here for one year and repurposed the abandoned hospital buildings to make homes, a school, and a community. After a year of wavering support, federal funding for the community was revoked, inhabitants of the community were evicted, and over time, Richmond obtained control of the land and turned it into a public park. These are histories that we aren't taught in school, and the evidence of them is often erased or paved over so that we might forget what happened in favor of more popular, more heroic histories. At Chimborazo Park, there is a small museum remembering the history of the Confederate hospital. There's a small stone remembering the Powhatan community whose land this was before John Smith made it an English settlement. There's a small Statue of Liberty that we orchestrated a community cleaning of in 2018, but there are no acknowledgments to the Freedmen community. Therefore, a main effort of this project will be public land acknowledgments interventions and performances that reinvigorate these narratives and create space in our popular memory for these stories that need to be told in order to understand our place in history today. After the performance on land, I would like to perform the first skywriting piece of this series entitled 40 Acres Chimborazo Park. For this performance, I will hire a skywriter to trace the dimensions of a 40-acre plot in the sky above Chimborazo Park, a square which is roughly a quarter of a mile on each side. The poetics of the skywriting are meant to serve as a reminder of that unfulfilled promise of reparations. It is a public acknowledgement that will be briefly visible for miles, and a physical metaphor for the ways in which the legend of reparations, 40 acres and a mule, still holds an invisible presence in our atmosphere. The visual presence of things might disappear, but the memory is kept alive in the stories we remember and pass down. I am also inviting poets to be part of this performance, and their contributions will be part of a live performance, the film documentation, and a produced publication that will be available to spectators for free on the day of the performance. This project is being supported and organized in partnership with 1708 Gallery, Reynolds Gallery, and Oakwood Arts. If you haven't already heard, let me be the first to tell you that skywritings ain't cheap these days and we still need to raise $10,000 to cover the remaining expenses for this project. In that effort, we will be selling 50 limited edition prints from my Wax Monument series called Fall 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. These prints will be available for $200 until the end of March, and a discount code will be made available for those that need it. Custom framed copies will be available for $400, and if you just wanna see this project happen, Donations of any amount will be accepted through the website. Please consider purchasing, sharing, or donating in support of this project. And thank you so much for watching.